before, as we wrap up, I'm going to talk to you about five characteristics of a successful decision and what that looks like as you get ready to go into your off season. You got from now until when you guys come back, August, September? August. So this applies to everything. I just took it to the extreme. But this is something that you can take with you. First thing you got to do, you got to have sharp and focus. That's me, 1993, about to run a hurdle race. That's focus. That's, that's not just focus. That's sharp and focus. You guys want to know the difference between focus and sharp and focus? I'm going to tell you. Here's focus. Girl, I'm about to go over to the library. That's focus. You want to hear what sharp and focus is? Sharp and focus is, girl, I couldn't even find you last night. Where were you at? Because she don't need to know where you are. You over there taking care of your business. That's sharp and focus. You know the difference of when you're on track based off of the decision because all of a sudden, sometimes you're going to have to find yourself alone. You're going to have to find yourself dialed in so you can jump into the race. And not everybody, it's always about character and your integrity and the things that you're doing when nobody else is around. How locked in are you? Because there's always going to be a party. The, deci the, the, the decision you've got to make is, after the party, are you going to feel good about the fact that you went to the party, or are you going to regret it the next day because why? Because there was something that I was supposed to be doing that I didn't do. But I still went to the party. Y'all saw me. I did it. Right? The next is you need to get clarity of your mission. We got to have a plan. Get clarity of the mission. What are you going to do daily? What's the plan? Make sure that you huddle up every day or make sure that you surround yourself with the right people. All right? So that way you can, here's the thing. The football, the football represents your dream, your purpose, your destiny. The idea here is to make sure that we move your dream and your destiny that way towards the goal line. But you can't do it if you've got the wrong people in your life. You got to make sure you get some Randy Mosses out here that can just flat out fly and catch the rock. You got to make sure you got some interference in here that can block, that can stand up for you. That's your family. Those are your tough, that's, those are your closest friends. But at the end of the day, it's you. You're the quarterback. You've got to navigate your life. And you've got to take care of that dream. And you've got to harness all of your energies. And once you get clarity of mission, and even the people that are around you, once you know then things can start moving forward. The next thing is discipline. Because once we understand, number one, now we've got, now we've got a vision of what we want to do. We've got the mission. Now you've got to get in the game. You've got to get in the game. That's when you get to, you graduated, you got your job, you got a job, and you're suited up, and you've got to be disciplined. And all discipline is is this. Do it the same way every day the right way. Just be disciplined. And that's how you stay in the game. The guys on Sundays, the guy, this is me up in, in, in Winnipeg, the guys that get to play on Sundays, those are the people that have submitted to the process. Everybody knows somebody went to high school with a kid that's probably better than Michael Jordan. Everybody went to high school with a kid that's probably better than LeBron, except LeBron did what? He got disciplined, and now he's in the game. Don't work your way out of the game because you can't get disciplined. The same way every day. Don't change it. Don't change a thing. These are checks and balances so that way you know, am I, did I make a good decision? You know. And you also got to understand what your gift is. Please don't have a far-fetched idea that I have this dream out here and you're not gifted to perform it. Find out what your gift is and then that way you'll, you can feed into your dream and what it is that you want to have happen. Once you've done that, then you're going to start seeing increased production. What is that? In your case, you're going to start seeing better grades. Okay? For me and my business and what it is that I do, I've been doing this for 20 years. Okay? I've been telling this, sharing this story for over 20 years. And every year, it gets a little better, gets a little better, gets a little better. Okay? It's a little better. And that's when you're going to know that, you, that you're on the right track. You're going to see 
Oh, wait a minute, I had a 3-1, now I've got a 3-5, now, now I'm on the dean's list, and Dr. Glenn is standing up there hugging you, y'all jumping around like, give yourself food. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Increased production, results. And last, once you get to that point in anything, in everything in this life, We've, you know, so many experiences. And I talk about mastering the human experience. It's more than just the football for me, okay? It's more than just whatever it is that you want to do here. Because once you're done here, that's just the beginning. There's so many things. You might want to climb that mountain 10 years from now. Some of you, how many, anybody gone up there and climbed that mountain yet? Put that on your list to do. That's an experience that you can master. You want to get to mastery. You don't want to just live, you want to master. You want to be a master of it. You want to be great. What is mastery? Winning. What is mastery? A great paycheck every Friday or every other Friday. You become great at what it is that you do once you get to mastery. It's the championship. It's your finish line. 